Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to duplicate pre-comps so that each new pre-comp is unique, or it is not linked with the other pre-comp that you just duplicated. And if you're not entirely sure what a pre-comp is, or maybe the concept of pre-comps is confusing to you, it is just a container. Think of it like a folder on your hard drive. You can dump whatever you want inside of a pre-comp and it's just a way to bundle it all up into a neat package. And to open a pre-comp, all you do is just double click on it and that's going to show you the contents of that pre-comp. To duplicate a pre-comp as a unique copy, meaning if you make changes to the copy, it is not going to make any changes to the original that you copied it from. Make the duplicate or the copy in the project panel. Do not duplicate or make the copy in the layers panel. So if I want to make another version of this pre-comp one, maybe I want to change out the logo in the background and place it inside a comp two, I'm not gonna duplicate it or copy it down in the layers panel. I'm gonna do so up in the project panel. So I'll select pre-comp one. I can duplicate it by pressing command or control D, or I can just do a copy and paste. So I could select pre-comp one, command or control C to copy, command or control V to paste. And if I select the copy or the duplicate we just made called pre-comp two, if I drag that into comp one, pre-comp one and pre-comp two are identical. If I double click to open pre-comp two, there's the logo, there's the green background layer. In order to change out the logo in the background, but keep the same effects and animation, first, I'm gonna select the logo. I'll go up to the project panel and select the new logo that I wanna replace it with. I'm gonna press Option on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, and I'm just gonna drag it right onto that selected layer. When I let go, you'll see it gets replaced and the exact same effects and animation are on the new logo, perfect. I'll do the same with the background. I'll select it, I'll select the new background, Hold Option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and I'm just gonna drag it right over that background. And if we go back to Comp 1, there you will see Pre-Comp 1 did not change, confirming that Pre-Comp 1 and Pre-Comp 2 are not connected. They are unique copies. I'm going to move this Pre-Comp 2 into the empty Comp 2, which was the original goal. So I'm just gonna cut it to the clipboard by pressing Command or Control X. I'll go into Comp 2 and paste it, Command or Control V. I'll go back to Comp 1. Now I just want to show you what happens if you duplicate or copy the pre-comp from the Layers panel versus making the duplicate in the Project panel. I'll select Pre-Comp 1 to duplicate it. I use Command or Control D, but if you forget the keyboard shortcuts, you can also find it in the edit menu. There you will see Duplicate, Command D. There's also Cut, Copy, and Paste. So I'll click on Duplicate. Now if I double click on the duplicate or the copy, I'll repeat the steps we did earlier. So I'm gonna select the M logo. I'll go up to the Project Panel, select the logo I wanna replace it with, hold Option or Alt, click and drag to replace it. I'll do the same for the background. Press Option or Alt, drag it over the background. Now when I go back to Comp 1, you will see that both pre-comps changed. We no longer have unique copies. So any changes that I make in this pre-comp 1, so if I change the scale and go back to Comp 1, you see they both get changed. So now you know if you've ever run into the issue where you make a change in a pre-comp and it unexpectedly makes changes in other pre-comps, that's because you duplicated the pre-comp from the layers panel, and you need to duplicate the pre-comp from the project panel if you want the pre-comps to be unique or different from each other. My name is Mike Murphy. That is your quick tip in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. Cheers.